Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today, we're gonna go over the 2016 Passport 3350. It's a beautiful bunkhouse model. It's gonna have two bathrooms, one for the kids and one for you. Let's go ahead and start on some of the outside features. Right up front here, we're gonna have our propane tank cover. You have these thumb screws, just unscrew, nice and easy to open it up so you can access your tanks. And then you'll have two 20 pound tanks right there. Behind your cover, you're gonna have a place for your batteries. Your battery box can hook up right there, nice and easy. And then you're going to have your diamond plating. That way, as you're going down the road, any kind of rocks or anything that get thrown up are gonna hit this diamond plating and not scratch up your beautiful fiberglass. Speaking of the fiberglass in the front end, as you can take a look at the Passport, it's gonna be nice and aerodynamic. You see it has a really nice curve. The Passport is gonna be all about towability and that's gonna help cut down on a lot of the wind resistance, which is of course gonna give you a better tow. If we take a look right here, pass-through storage, nice large pass-through. As you can see, you'll see the aluminum framing in here. That's gonna help lighten up the unit. Again, when you talk about towability, you're gonna want a little bit lighter unit and Passport's gonna be uh, one of the lighter ones out there. Of course, you'll have your scissor jacks. You'll have four, one on each corner. And if we take a look up at the roof line here, you'll see you're gonna have your power awning. Nice big power awning, super easy to use. Touch of a button rolls out, touch of a button rolls back in. One person operation, you don't need someone on each end. So it's uh, definitely going to be very efficient for you to use. Right up top, you also see your drip rail. That's a great thing as well. That way as the water runs off, it's gonna run to the front and back, not fall down on you as you're coming out the door. Right underneath the awning here, you'll see you're gonna have speakers. That's perfect, that way you can sit out here, listen to music. Now that is going to be controlled by the multimedia center inside, but that will have Bluetooth connectivity. So that way if you have a iPod or possibly a cellular device, you can connect to that via Bluetooth and go ahead and control your music from out here. Also right here is going to be one of our two uh, black tank flushes. If you're not familiar with the black tank flush, what that is is instead of having to bring your hose in and put it down the toilet to wash out your black tank when you're done camping, you just take that hose, uh, connect it right here. There'll be sprayers built in the black tank that are gonna go ahead and spray that black tank out for you, washing everything out, just making life a lot easier for you. One of two entryways right here. It's gonna be our main entryway, three steps. First step, nice and low to the ground. That way, if you do have bad knees, it's easy to get into. Also, you'll get this uh, grab handle. It's a great grab handle, nice and large, so it'll help you from the first step all the way into the last one. Also, when you're done, this can just lift up and fold over. That way, it's not hanging out as you're going down the road. So we start to move back a little bit further. One thing I do wanna talk about here is gonna be the axles. This unit does have the load equalization axles, so that's gonna uh, set your axles further a little bit, the widespread axle, which is gonna help reduce sway. Again, all about towability. Also here, um, as you can see, it's gonna be easy lube axles, so you're never gonna have to pack your bearings. A lot easier on the maintenance side. That's always a good bonus too. Extended season camping. The Passport does have extended season camping. It's gonna have a forced air, heated and enclosed underbelly. That way, if you're camping in the fall season, starts to get really cold, you're not gonna have to worry about your lines freezing up on you. That's always a great thing. Be able to extend that camping season right on. Right here is gonna be your second black tank flush. Again, this'll uh, operate your back bath, which is right here. So this is fantastic, having a door right into the bathroom. That way, you know, your kids run in and out, just use the bathroom all the time. Hey, maybe you do too, but this is perfect. That way you can just come in, come right out. You're not traipsing mud through the entire trailer. Right here, open this up. This is going to be our outside kitchen. Great thing to have too, right? So we have a mini fridge here. We have an extra shelf. You have a plug-in right here and we have a pull-out sink, wash basin here, as well as a two, uh, two burner stove top on there. That way you can cook your bacon outside, not making it all smelly and splatting grease all over inside. Also right underneath, you do have a propane quick connect. You can go ahead and hook your stove up to that, or if you have an outside grill, you can hook that up to it as well. Come around to the back side on the Passport. Right here, we're gonna have our outside shower. This will have both hot and cold water access. Our bumper, of course, is gonna be welded on. And right here is gonna be our spare tire. Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, Passport's got you covered.
All right, folks, I know it's a lot on the outside, some great features, let's go check out the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2016 Passport 3350. Let's go ahead and start off here on the kitchen. As you'll see, you get huge countertop space, which is phenomenal. You're gonna have your sink right here, nice high rise brush nickel faucet, sink top covers, we'll have our double bowl sink. Nice large bowl on the left, smaller bowl on the right, and what's even better, your sink top covers are gonna double as cutting boards. That way you can flip them over, use this side as a cutting board, and then when you're done, flip it back and no one will ever know the difference. Right underneath the sink, you get nice, huge storage. You can take a look there, massive storage there, and also you're gonna get the iconic white pull-out drawers that you are gonna find in every passport. Nice, large drawers there. Then as we take a look up top, you, you know, one of the things I like for the for the 2016, this is gonna be one of the fall series going to the 2017, they went to a slightly different woodwork. It looks nice and rich. You have your brushed nickel pulls on here. Just looks fantastic. Great storage space up there, perfect pantry space. And right next to that, of course, is going to be our microwave. Underneath is our fully functional hood with a light and a fan. Beneath that is going to be our three burner stove top. This is an Atwood stove top, so you will get better flame control. That way you can still be a chef while you're out camping. You will have your oven there in case you want to bake. And then right here, you'll have access to that same storage I showed you on the other side. Again, huge, huge access because you have huge countertop space. Last but not least, rounding out our bathroom, or our bathroom, our kitchen, is going to be our Dometic fridge and freezer. Plenty of space here. Uh, this will have both LP and electric with automatic switchover. So what that means for you is you can be running it off propane. As soon as you get to your campsite, you can plug it into shore power. It will switch over to electric for you, which of course is going to save you on your propane gas. Now, bathroom is going to be right here. This is our half bath. We take a look. This is the door I showed you on the outside. Come right in. You'll see right there is going to be your vanity. You have some storage in there, sink of course. Up above that would be your medicine cabinet with mirror. And then in the corner is going to be our stool and you'll have plenty of leg room there. Now this is going to be a bunk model, so as we walk back here into the bunk house, we can take a look. Nice and open, because you're gonna have your slide right here, so plenty of space. You have the top bunk, this will lift up, and then just lock into place. That way you have plenty of room for your couches down below. And of course you have the window up top as well, lets in a little extra sunlight. Now these, uh, the couch here, these do both fold out, makes a very large bed, which is great, because if you do have some taller children, this will easily sleep people that are over six foot right here in the back you get an extra window again letting in some sunlight across the way is going to be our third bunk so you have a bunk right here some steps nice and easy to get up and look at how much storage you have behind that ton of storage right here extra storage here all the way down below you know I hear all too many times of how there's not enough storage in the bunk house for the kids you have a ton of storage in this one not only do you get that storage but take a look at this if you can't fit everything you need in that storage space you're taking too much with you so great space there and again additional storage space here that goes all the way back to the wall just a ton of space in here you'll also have a window up top place to mount your TV right here which of course can be on an arm connections on top you'll have some lights AC vent because you will have both ducted AC and ducted heat and of course we'll have our vent right here in case you don't want to kick the AC on. All right, let's head back out. We'll take a look at the living area, the master bath, and the master bedroom. In the living area, the Passport 3350, I do want to show you right here, right as you come out of the bunk room, you do get some extra storage right there, which is great, because you can use that for pantry storage, or if some reason you do need extra storage for the bunk room, you can absolutely use that for that as well. Right here in our slide, we are going to have our u dinette and our couch. So nice, large u dinette window there, of course, can let in some light. We have the, the beautiful light fixture right up here. And then of course this u dinette will drop down into a bed. That way if you do have additional adult guests, you have a perfect place for them to sleep as this is plenty large enough to sleep two adults. Right next to that is going to be our uh, sofa. 
This is a jackknife sofa. So as we lift it up, you can see you get a ton of storage underneath, which is fantastic. Again, another light here, really helping bring in a lot of that sunlight. And as you're sitting down nice and comfortable, you get a great shot right here to our TV and entertainment center. So you do have storage up above, tinted glass, again, those nice brushed nickel poles, right? Some extra storage there. Our TV will be on a uh, swing arm mount, so you can turn it toward the U-Dinette, turn it right here toward our couch. You know, if you're cooking in the kitchen, want to watch TV, you can absolutely do that as well. That's going to be connected right here to our multimedia center. I touched on this a little bit when we were outside, but this will be our radio as well as a CD and DVD player. So this does have uh, different speaker zones, both inside and outside. And so this is what you would connect to via Bluetooth to be able to control that while you're outside. In here, however, you can put a DVD in, and of course that'll pop up right here on your TV. So that way on the rainy days, you're already prepared. You can bring along Frozen, whatever movie you may have, and be able to watch that. Underneath, you do get additional storage here, which is wonderful. Here's going to be our thermostat. And then right next to that, right as you walk in the door, great feature to have, you're going to have a coat rack. You know, a lot of times if you're camping in the fall, especially because this is an extended season uh, unit and you're able to do that, you're going to have jackets, you're going to have sweatshirts, you need a place to hang them, there you go. Extra storage right there along the side. Right here is going to be our control panel. This will have everything from our water heater, which is both uh, gas and electric, your water pump, power awning, uh, both of our slide rooms, our lights, and our um, tank levels. Right here you get additional storage. And then right over here, as you walk in, again, you get more storage underneath this massive countertop. So this countertop has storage all around it, which is fantastic. All right, why don't we come right up here and I will show you into the master bath and the bedroom. In the bathroom with a 3350, you're gonna have your nice vanity here, plenty of storage underneath. You get some uh, great countertop space here, our sink, plug-in of course for hair dryer, anything else we're gonna need. Then up top, you're gonna have your mirrored medicine cabinet with extra storage behind that. Next to that is gonna be our neo-angle shower. As you can take a look there, plenty of room. You'll have your hand wand, makes it nice and easy to wash. And then you're also gonna have your Cascade Series rain glass door. Last but not least, right here in the corner is going to be our stool. That way you have plenty of leg room. And of course, you're gonna have two entrances, one here and then one that's gonna lead into the bedroom. Speaking of, let's come take a look. In the bedroom, you're gonna get plenty of storage all the way around. On both sides, you will have mirrored wardrobe with hanging space as well as a shelf on top. And then you'll have storage along the top here where your doors are gonna have the nice tinted glass. Also on both sides of the bed, you get a shelf. You're also going to have electrical outlets. That way if you do have a CPAP machine, you're able to plug that in or possibly charge your cell phone or whatever else you'd like to do. You're going to have your queen bed, which underneath is going to have excellent storage right there. And up on the wall right here is going to be a place for our TV. See the mounting bracket there as well as the connections up on the ceiling. All right, folks, thanks for joining me. Again, this is the Passport 3350. Beautiful floor plan. You're gonna have a bath and a half, which is perfect. You have that second entryway. You get the outside kitchen, nice big bunk room, ton of storage back there, huge kitchen countertops. It's a winning floor plan. If you do have any questions, please go ahead and leave a comment below on the video, or you can give me a call here at American RV and I'll be happy to answer the question for you. Thanks, folks. Hope you have a great camping season, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.